Ah, hello there. Nice to see you. Bob here. Two of my favourite things in the world are Iron Maiden and beer. So when Iron Maiden announced years ago that they were going to be releasing their own beer, of course I was going to try it. Uh, they then released a number of other beers after that, different types of beer, and I started collecting them. Um, now, there's quite a few different ones. I've got at least one of each of the beers that they've released, although sadly I don't have every variation of the packaging and different size bottles and so on. Um, but I will show you my collection of Iron Maiden beers. So without further ado, adieu, 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 further ado, probably, um, here we go. Starting over here, we've got the classic Trooper. Uh, sadly, only the version in this second label. The original label was the Eddie from the uh, single cover, uh, but I don't have one of those because when that was released, uh, I didn't know there was going to be more, so I wasn't collecting and I didn't keep one which is really infuriating now. Uh, then we've got the Light Brigade, the Pale Ale, the IPA, the Fear of the Dark Stout, uh, the new wine, the new uh, red wine, Portuguese red wine. It's very nice, highly recommended. Um, the Classic Trooper and the Light Brigade in smaller bottle size. 666, the Strong Ale, that's very nice as well. And then we've got four different Day of the Dead variations. Um, I believe they release one of these each year around Halloween. Um, and I think there's been four so far. Might be wrong on that though. Hallowed, the Belgian style beer. That's probably my favourite of the lot. It's absolutely beautiful. Sun and Steel, sake infused lager. Wasn't overly enamoured with that. It wasn't bad. The Red and Black, that's the only one that I don't actually like out of the lot, the Porter. But I'm not a fan of Porters anyway, so that probably explains that. The 10th Anniversary Imperial Stout, 10%, um, absolutely beautiful. The uh, Trooper in the Number of the Beast bottle to um, celebrate the anniversary of the release of the album. Uh, the 10th Anniversary Variation of Trooper. The New Pale Ale, and then finally on the end, the latest red label version of the classic Trooper. And it's not just Iron Maiden. We've got some Motorhead beers as well. The To Hell and Back, the Indian Pale Ale. The Ace of Spades Stout with the Wax Seal. Classic Road Crew, a couple of different variations on the packaging for that. Uh, the Bastards Lager, it's really hard to find. And the Overkill Pilsner. Then over here, we've got a couple of other random oddities. We've got the Metallica Enter Night beer. The ACDC one from Germany. Marshall beer, a Rammstein beer, and then there's a My Dying Bride one uh, at the end as well. So there we have it. That is my collection of Iron Maiden and heavy metal beer. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Ta-ra!